So I thought I'd make a behind the scenes video to the DreamWorks vid just for the main purpose that this may be the biggest vid on my channel ever. I don't know how to top this. This video is gonna show everything. How I learned Blender to make the intro to the vid, why it got delayed and postponed so many times, and also just my additional commentary, I guess. Anyways, uh, I thought I'd talk about the intro first because, well, it's the intro. This intro single-handedly took me from July all the way to mid-August to make. I actually divided it into several scenes. Here's the first draft side by side the final draft of the intro. Welp, here we go again. So a lot of people already picked up on how I used Blender to make a lot of the stuff in this intro. It's pretty much 50% Blender and 50% After Effects. This also meant I had to learn how to animate with Blender to make the intro, which is probably why all this running animation looks so janky. This intro was also about 99% stolen uh, from this guy called Fish Tank, who by the way I did give credit to. He has this video called The Godlike Bison Killstreak and I really liked his intro so I pretty much took heavy heavy inspiration from it but the intro song being the same as his is probably the thing that takes the cake go watch this guy by the way he makes amazing tf2 vids also by the time i recorded this video i have included a song list in the description of the dreamworks vid so you're welcome anyways this intro scene is broken up into eight main scenes the first one is just a simple animation with the dreamworks thumbnail the reason why dreamworks in the intro and in the video is spelled differently is because i made a last minute change to make the w in dreamworks capital in the title which doesn't match but i think it looks better scene two is pretty much this crt monitor screen inspired edit this scene took me way longer to make because i didn't really know how to replicate this effect but a few tutorials were able to help next up is scene three where i float through space amidst the dvds the dvds are also just a bunch of duplicated objects with custom textures for each one of them also this whole dvd scene is completely fake and i literally just eyeballed how far they were from the camera scene four is me running through my own youtube page which i had to replicate from scratch inside of after effects this running animation in particular took me so long to make because i really wanted it to look good it's also the reason why it's in 15 FPS. I'm literally just way too inexperienced to make a higher FPS animation. This front flip wasn't made by me though, it's actually a stock animation from Mixamo. The words bouncing here was done through simple masking and after effects. Also this part has a bit of depth of field which makes it a bit better but I don't really think anyone noticed that. This next part was done through another simple animation and a shatter effect. For scene 5 I used the same spaceship model I used in the Pixar vid. By the way I had completely no intention of using this Star Wars spaceship. I literally just searched for a 3D spaceship model in Sketchfab and this one came up. I also used a 3D model for this astronaut along with the portal gun. The explosion was all made inside After Effects along with the portal beam and the portal itself. And by making the portal, I mean just downloading a project file online and just stealing it. Cinecom made a great tutorial on this, by the way. Scene 6 was relatively easy. All I had to do was set up a scene with a TV next to a plane and a poorly lit room. Scene 7 was also quite hard to pull off. This staircase of movies was once again an idea I stole from Fish Tank's video. This was all made in Photoshop and imported into After Effects. The running animation was a stock animation for Mixamo because I didn't have time to make my own animation. I also pretty much just had to guess when it would turn around to sync with the staircase. Funnily enough, the hardest part of this scene was trying to animate this stupid fishing rod. For some reason, I suck with shape layers and tried to do it in Blender with rigid physics instead, which didn't look as good. The rest of this intro are basically just stock text animations with some light rays. Ah, <sighs> finally, the intro's done. So, uh, how I made the rest of the vid is I basically just edited it, uh... Yeah, that's basically it. Oh yeah, the sponsor. The main idea with this Surfshark ad was to take heavy inspiration from internet historians NordVPN ads. The overall intro itself is also sort of a reference to the Spider-Verse 1 opening scene. I mean, the dialogue itself is basically a one-on-one -on -one copy. All right, let's do this one last time. All right, let's do this one last time. My name is Peter Parker. I was bitten by a radioactive spider. My name is Dave Davidson. Once a professional surfer, I was bitten by a radioactive shark. And for 10 years, I've been the one and only Spider-Man. And for the past 10 years, I've been the one and only
By the way, I plan on doing this exact scene again on my Sony animations video. Anyways, most of this was also done in Blender, especially with Surfshark Man himself, which is basically just a Superman model with the textures changed. Originally, the cape was supposed to stay on him, but I just removed it because I didn't want to learn cape physics just for this one video. Also, there's this unused rooftop scene I made, and I'm very glad I removed it because it looks completely garbage. Also, yes, this is a CSGO model. Also, yes, this is Anthony Padilla as Surfshark Man because... I don't know, I thought he looked like the stock photo guy. If you want my honest opinion on Surfshark, it's a VPN and it works. Get it if you want to. Shut the fuck up! Aside from occasional scenes in the video where I used Blender, this is pretty much all I used Blender for in the video. Other parts of the video include me recording IRL stuff like the Bible bit and the Captain Underpants part. Also, this part with the bin was technically 50% stop motion. I basically just took pics of my hand in motion and then masked them out in Photoshop. Combine this with a 3D trash cat in Blender and you've got this animation. By the way, that was literally a fake DVD of Trolls the entire time guess you could say you got trolled <laughs> i would also show a timeline for the video but i don't actually have a full pick of the timeline because i put every movie into a nest nests are basically just more compressed sequences with the real editing lying behind the nests this method of editing was probably the smartest decision i ever made because it saved me probably no joke 100 hours of editing since the project runs so much smoother which was also a very smart decision because it meant that rendering the whole thing took me less than one hour in total 90 percent of edits are also just me in a suit with an overshoot expression done in after effects if you don't know what an overshoot expression is it's basically the effect that makes things bounce in my videos. Apparently, some people back in the olden days of After Effects used to just copy and paste code and change the code. Until some guy called Tim Thiessen invented this thing called Bouncer, which is literally an After Effects extension that can do this for you in like two clicks. It's also free, so uh, shout out to Tim Thiessen for making this. But even with the heavy optimization I had for this video, I still struggled to meet the deadline. So, just this once, I did the unthinkable. I hired an editor. I mean, I didn't actually give the editor credit or anything, but pretty much I hired some guy to just do all the cutting work in the video. This meant that the editor was basically just doing glorified slave work and that I was technically editing most of the video. I mean, I did literally just give the editor the most boring part of the job. All the editor did was just cut the footage, so I still did most of the work. And yes, I, I did pay him. No, no need to ask that. Anyways, enough about the DreamWorks video. Now that this massive burden has been lifted off my shoulder, what's next? Well, for starters, I have one extra Chase 2.0 video already in the works and is planned to release soon. There's a new Chase video releasing next year which is about the 2023 movies. I'm not gonna lie, Sony is probably the thing I'm gonna do next because, well, I already started the script this year. Uh, what else? Twitter, Discord, and also I stream quite regularly on this channel so go sub to it, I guess. Anyways, that's all from me. I'll see you guys next year.